guys and welcome back to my youtube channel child if you're new here my name is Simba and if you're a returning subscriber hi darling thank you so much for coming back okay so today i'm back with another video um today i'm going to be showing you guys my skincare routine <laughs> newly updated from zero to a hundred because I didn't have one previously so I decided I wanted to improve my makeup looks and yeah and skincare is like one of the factors that determines how your makeup looks at the end basically um yeah so I was like all right let me you know so yeah I'm just gonna show you what I got um to Sephora I think it was um, three a month ago I went to Sephora and yeah I just um, I dedicated that specific day to just go and shop for my skincare for the type of skin that I have and the problems that I have so yeah so yeah I'm gonna show you I got it from Sephora it was quite pricey I don't want to lie skincare is very expensive apparently it's supposed to last you long which is to me it sounds like a scam because i wash my face every day twice a day so it's, your product is gonna last me three months Kanjan. but scam what can we say so yeah i'm just gonna be showing you guys that all right so without rambling too much let's get into it i'm deciding should i wear the bonnet should i take it off i'm going to wear it i'm deciding to wear it but yeah let's get into the video Okay guys, so the first product I'm going to be showing you is the foundation that I got. If you have been watching my vlogs, you know that I've been saying I only have used one foundation back ever since I started doing makeup. And I don't know, I was getting unhappy, but like not in, not in a bad way, like, but most of the time I'll be dissatisfied. So I was like, okay, go big or go home. Okay, so yeah, I got Estee Lauder, um, Estee Lauder, okay, <laughs> um, yep, so I got two, the reason why I got two is because it's a similar shade, but one is warmer than the other that makes sense like that's how it makes sense to me that's how it was explained to me like um so you know how sometimes you would mix your foundations to make it like the shade you want it to be maybe in a different season or like because maybe in summer you get i get a, a little darker in summer so i would need the appropriate foundation for that because i don't want to be too like too dark for my Seems wrong so it's a similar shade but there's a difference and the different words so the first shade I got was rich chestnut which is uh, in the shade 5c1 so yeah and this is a double wear uh, foundation so I have, um, like, I, I, I sometimes I might appear like I don't have skin problems because, okay, my skin is clearer than a, an average person 
unavoidable but i do have problems like i have hyperpigmentation i suffer a lot with that and oily skin if i may say yeah so this uh, foundation is kind of matte it's not um um what can you say it's not like matte but it's long lasting and it's good for all your skin so that's why i got it and child i got it because of the hype let me not lie <laughs> <laughs> but like when she explained it to me i really got it for those reasons but i went in there knowing very well that i am going to buy a stain powder honey Let me just, I, I opened this um, foundation. I'm just gonna show you how it looks. The bottle. So fancy. Yes. Moving on. Products number two. Setting spray. So yes. This is from Charlotte uh, Tilbury. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. But yeah, so it's the air, air brush flawless setting spray. Again, and this is good for oily skin. So that's why they recommended it. Uh, to me it primes and sets um, for up to 16 hours uh, so there's no melting no fading and no uh, creasing so your makeup doesn't crease I do have a problem I don't know if it's me or maybe the concealer I was using or I don't set my makeup like I don't put enough powder but my concealer has a tendency of creasing so uh, she recommended this uh, the lady that was assisting me at Sephora she recommended I take this certain spray so yeah we're gonna see how it works period yeah let me show you how it looks If you are going to be that person that's gonna throw shade on my profile, I will doom you. If you are going to be that person that's gonna be all negative vibes on me, I will doom you. If I sense negative, doom. Think that you are going to be negative, doom. If you look negative, doom. No time for negativity, this sis. The next product is gonna be the concealer that I got from Ilya. Yeah. So I got this concealer from Ilia. Um, it contains vitamin C, so that's why it was recommended to me. Um, yeah, and apparently it does not crease a lot. So, um, yep. So that's why I went with it, and it's in the shade SC7. Yep. So this is what it looks like. So sophisticated. <laughs> so sophisticated. I like how it looks. Yep. And it smells good too. It it is a bit dark. I'm not gonna lie. It it I normally I'll go with something like lighter, but I don't mind trying it out. Yeah, basically. If I like it, I might just go for another like lighter color. And then also from Ilia, we have the primer. This primer is a uh... okay. So this is how it looks. Um, and then yeah, it's like an oil. Can you see the consistency? 
yeah um, yeah so this one is like a jelly oil it's like gel yeah um, so this one can be used for skincare uh, but the reason why I also went with the one from Naz is because um, I want um, I wanted one that can also be used for my makeup okay so they recommended this with makeup and yeah it's one thing about it it's packaging honey yep and then this one is yep a cream so this is like more like a cream. That one is like a gel. Yep. Cream it. And then we have a sunscreen. Okay, so um sunscreen. Initially I wanted that one. I forgot where it's from. The one the orange one, the SP50 initially, but then um I also wanted a sunscreen that I can use with my makeup and I wanted to be sure that it was going to be hidden. And this was the perfect one because it's an unseen sunscreen. That's what they call it. It's an SP40. Usually, I would want to go with an SP50 because of all the good things I've heard about it. Um, but I like, I settled for this because I don't like burn a lot, to be honest. So, yeah, but it's just for extra protection. If my skin can actually um, look good while taking on the hot weather, imagine if it had assistance of a sunscreen in general. So yeah, basically, and it really is unseen. So I was very confident that it's not gonna be visible. Um, I have so many scars, I bo. It's not gonna be visible under my makeup. So and it feels so light. It feels very light. So it it disappears. So yes, and I wanted to have a sunscreen that I'm, I was going to wear under makeup because, again, I am the girl now. I take care of the skin. Okay. See, I'm seeing. And then we have, okay, this stuff with this, Biosense. Um, yep. We have, uh. A cleanser from Biosand and also a vitamin C moisturizer. Period. Okay. So the cleanser again, I have oily skin, so that's why um, she recommended Biosand because these products have aloe, so that uh, apparently helps with oily skin. Uh, as an ingredient and yeah and I wanted the best in the game okay so um yeah and this is how the cleanser looks ah packaging ah oh it has a whole story time inside so you can read more about it so sophisticated say what what this is the consistency of the cleanser so it's like a gel So gel and it feels so good I like it I like it so much let me wash my hands and it smells so good too oh love it and 
also from bioscience we have the moisturizer packaging yeah like wow 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 the dedication huh. <laughs> anyways um this is a sample of their eye cream i actually wanted an eye cream but i forgot what i was in store because like under my eyes mm -mm, it gets so dark it's the ghetto but they gave me a sam sample of that how cool but yeah this is how the moisturizer looks this is why i went with this one because she made me choose between like two moisturizers and i went with this one because it's so light i love it oh okay guys so yeah so yeah sephora is quite pricey i'm not gonna cap i don't know if it's skincare in general as i am new to this so i'm in for a surprise imagine because like all together I spent four hundred dollars yep four hundred dollars on that um let's see I'll put the I'll actually put the price tag um with the product as I specifically talk about each item but yeah that's how much I spend it's like 400 or a little over 400 dollars I, I guess maybe it's worth it uh, for clear skin yeah, I guess but you guys why why and also like some things obviously I purchased them too because of various reasons okay period but yeah uh, basically that's like my skincare and my new foundation most importantly what i wanted to change yeah so period i'll be on the skincare journey and i'll update you guys okay yeah 